I put 60 roosters in there? Is that what I've done? I'm going to get like no eggs whatsoever. Do I put 60 in? Yeah, I did. <laughs> put 60 roosters in. Right, so this is a new map for 22. This is Tosnovka. This is by Puma145. 389.94 megabyte on the download. And this is actually a convert from 17, which is very nice indeed. Now, what are we talking about from a slot count perspective? If you come on here on Farm Manager and start from scratch, you're going to use 797 slots. Now, if you come on here on New Farmer, you're going to use 855. Now, the difference between the two is the buildings to be fair because the equipment comes on all three game modes so all these buildings here are not here fair enough now if we go into the construction menu because there is a couple of new things specifically for this map so if we go into containers like that and we'll scroll along to the end so we've got these here so we've got fertilizer tank seed tank diesel tank and water tower we then go up to tools and we've got a large weighing station although that looks exactly the same as the standard base game one but all right fair enough and we'll come up to farm houses now we've got these here they're not down as being a mod but they're not the normal ones unless i'm completely missing something all right we'll carry on then we come up to landscaping because there is a couple of new textures as well so going to painting we we'll go along the end. So we've got granite. We've got rock. The gravel was already on there. So we've got dry grass. There's definitely a couple of extras in there, which is very nice. Now, what we're talking about on the equipment perspective. So if we go into this menu, we've got these small tractors. We've got the Zetor Forterra HSX120 and then the Proxima HS80. Under medium tractors, we've got the Zetor Crystal HD170. Under harvesters, we've got the Deutzfahr top line of 4090H. Under trailers, we've got the Walga DK115. Under headers, the top line of 4090 header. Under cultivators, we've got the Rabe EG39. Oh, two and a half. Two and a half meter. We've done so well on map tours recently. We're back to the three meters, dear, oh dear. I can see where this is going as well. Under power harrows, we've got the Amazon KG3001 Super. <laughs> three meter dear oh dear on the cedars doesn't get any better the amazon centaya 3000 super three meter cedar dear oh dear and then to finish off on the weights we've got the agco 1500 times three now that's your equipment that you get on all three game modes now what about the land so if we go into this map here if you come on farm manager start from scratch obviously you don't own anything now, if you come on here on New Farmer, you own this bit of land here, this bit of land here, field 14 and field 19. Oh, very nice. I mean, if we go for buying a piece of land, so like 135, 102 up there. I mean, they're fairly pricey for the size of the fields. Mind you, that's at 85 there. When we go up to the big ones, like 473 grand. Hmm. There's a bit of forestry up on the hill, 832 grand there, 750. I suppose it's all right to carry on with. Now, if we come down to the shop menu, it's good news because you can sell everything that you would normally be able to sell on a base map. No problem. The only difference is, if we come all the way down to the bottom, is stones. There's no debris crusher on this map, but... There's plenty you can place down. That's not really a problem. If you even have stones turn on. Because a lot of people don't. Because they're pesky blighters. Anyway. We'll carry on. Dear oh dear. So. We start. We'll go back up to the map. It's a better idea. So you start the game over here. On the main farm. We then come across the road. And then we watch out for cars. Because this traffic looks proper dicey on here. So you've got your sleep trigger right there. And we'll come down this side. Got a bit of storage behind there like that. Then we'll come over here. This is called Barn. Bale sale point. Got a bit more storage over there. That looks like an old school way station, mind you. Although. Oh. I don't weigh anything. Oh, ex excellent. Excellent indeed. I thought that was... 
you know, on the, the shop menu, that looked like exactly the same one as the base game one, but it's not, it's different. It's obviously all in keeping with the rest of the building, which is very nice. Then we'll come over here. Here's your water tower. So come and get water out there for your animals if you want to. Then we'll come back over the road. Because we've got a silo here for us. So you go load up in the grating area. And then you've got your diesel tank there. Is it 10? 10 what? 10 pounds? All right, we'll carry on. Don't know how much that costs. We'll come round here. You've got your taken out point of your silo. You then got a seed buying point. You then got a fertilizer buying point. And then we'll come into this building because this is ace. Oh, I love this. This is your workshop. <laughs> Pull your vehicle over the pit. You can come down, work on your tractor. No problem. That's ace. We'll jump out of there. There's your workshop trigger. I like that. That's nice. Then we've got a bit more undercover storage there. A bit more undercover storage there. And there, there's some equipment. And there's some more equipment for you. There's plenty of space here. You could place some production chains down. No problem. Yeah. Then we'll come round here. We've got a bunker silo. Obviously, if you want to do a bit of chaff. And next door is a cow barn. Now, obviously, none of these buildings are here on the other two game modes. And that is quite important. And we all understand why as we get a bit further around. So you open up this door like that. Take all your food into there. Now, this is strange as well. Because it's coming up as cow pasture there. But it's got slurry and straw requirement at the bottom. You don't do those with a pasture. But oh, all right, fair enough. There's your slurry taken out point there. There's your milk taken out point there. And also, because it says pasture. Can I jump over that fence? I'm not tall enough. No, I can't. I have to run all the way around the edge. Normally a pasture requires water, but there's no water point. So it's called a pasture, but it's actually a cow barn. Which makes things easier, to be fair. Because obviously, you want your manure or your slurry for doing your fields. You're going to need a barn. So you come up here, open up that gate. Bring a trailer back down if you want to. Open up the animal dialogue box. There you are. Put some cows in. Holds 200. Jobs are good in. They are cows in the field. Best shut that gate, because otherwise they're going to run off. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, obviously, I'm a farm manager and start from scratch. This building is not here. I mean, you can buy a different one if you wanted to. But if we go into the construction menu, if we go onto animals and cows, this building's not here. So if you don't come on New Farmer, this building will never be here. Because you can't place it down. Just thought I'd let you know. Right, we're going to move on. So we're going to come up to this top corner here. So first off up here, we've got a sale point. So this is actually called Bakery. It's not production chain, it's just a sale point. So you load your stuff into the grating area there. Although we could put a bakery down. That would have been ace. All right, fair enough. Then we'll come back down here. We'll turn left here. Because next door to the bakery sale point is your animal dealer. <laughs> Big ball on the roof, that saves. Emerson's Livestock Market, very nice. Click on there. Obviously, we've only got the cow barn at the minute, or cow pasture, that's actually a barn. Have them delivered directly, or bring your trailer up here if you wanted to. Very nice. Now, we're going to come down here, because this bit, I think, is ace. So, have a little stroll in the August sunshine. <laughs> this looks brilliant. I mean, it really does. I mean, the, the scenery there, you know, hills, rolling hills. You know, you got to get some horsepower on the go, mind you, from your tractor, but it looks ace. So, we've got this here. So, we've now moved over to the side of the river. This is a sawmill. <laughs> Look at that. Logs floating in the water. Oh, that is ace. So, obviously, bring your vehicle over here. Hit the sour wood icon. I think that brilliant. Love it. Right. We're going to jump across the river now to this one here. 
So this is another sale point. So this is going to be called Village Grain Elevator. So just pull your vehicle up onto the grating. Sell all your stuff. And then we're going to move on over to this bit here. Oh, is this going to be your main shop? And this looks absolutely brilliant. I mean, look at that. There's a building. Now, if you come in here, there's your main shop icon there. You could easily do a role play as a tractor dealer in here. Just have them parked up. Obviously, these doors are open. You know, come in, buy a tractor. Sit at the desk, do some deals. Oh, this looks ace. Then we come round the side. Here's your workshop trigger, so pull your vehicle there, all your equipment, hit the spanner, fix it all up. Very nice, so we're going to move over to this bit here. So as you can probably tell, this is a fuel station. Now, it's got the same sort of pump as at the farm. Can't tell how much it is. Not sure whether that's cheap or expensive. Alright, fair enough, if you want to fill your vehicle up for me, you go ahead. Then we'll move over to this bit here. This is going to be another sale point for you. So this is supermarket. So just pull your vehicle into that area there. Well, there's no grating. That's all right for pallets, mind you. But what about if you're dropping off loose stuff? That's assuming loose stuff can be sold at the supermarket, mind you. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's just pallets. In that case, it's all good. Fair enough. Right. We're going to move down to this area here. Right, so you've got another sale point here, so this is called Magazine. Pull your vehicle in, unload into the grating area. All fairly simple. We're going to move on again, we're going to come over to this one here. So it's going to be another fuel station for you, again, with those pumps. Okay, we'll carry on. I don't know whether to be holding my wallet or crying. Right, fair enough. We're going to now move over to this area here, but click on that. We have to buy it first. I like that. Because we now got some pigs. And this is what I mean about the whole building thing. See, these buildings are here. Because you don't own them on New Farmer, and you've got to buy them, they stay here anyway on all three game modes. So unlike the cow barn, you can just buy these or not if you don't want it. All fairly simple. So here's your animal dialogue box there. So this is going to hold 300 pigs. So we'll put some in. Why not? Yes. There they are. And then we come around here. Is where you put all your feed in. Then we'll come over here. Because this is where you take your slurry out. Mm, very nice. And bacon sandwiches running around. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Right. We'll move on. We're going to come down to this area here. This is going to be another sale point for you. So this is going to be called Transport Company. So you put all your stuff into there. Jobs are good. In. We'll then move down to another fuel station. Again, it's got the same, <laughs> got the same pumps. All right, we'll carry on. So we're going to move over to this one here. This is going to be another sale point for you. So this one is called Spinnery. So bring all your wool down here and your cotton. And we'll move over to this one here. Like that. Garden centre. So we've got two areas down here for this one. So you've got your loose stuff going into that bit. And you come round here. And there's your sell point for your productions. For your pallets. So then we're going to come over to this one down here. There's another sell point. So this is going to be your sawmill. But not... A sawmill in that sense it's just a sale point called a sawmill so you pull your vehicle over there hit the sale wood icon fair enough we're then going to move up to this one here it's going to be another sale point for you so that's going to be called grain elevator so again just pull up there like that we'll do we'll have a little run down the road she's got another fuel station down here and i can only assume it's going to be the same style of pumps as on the other one and you can't tell how much they're charging you <laughs> oh dear oh dear capitalist dream that is Ca capitalist capitalist dream charge people and then don't let them know how much you charge them brilliant so yeah same pump all right we'll carry on right we're gonna go over the road actually because there's another little area that we need to 
spy. Don't get run over first. There we go. That's better. Right, so. Got this building here. So we're going to the map. We'll click on that. Buy that. Yes. Got sheep pasture. Oh. I say sheep pasture. Can we open these doors? No, it's just done this bit. All about that one. No, no. All right, fair enough. So where are we? So you've got your wool pallet spawn point there. Then you've got your food going into there. Now this one is a sheep pasture. Although it's not coming up as anything. All right, fair enough. So you've got your water going into there. And then you've got your animal dialogue box there. 250 sheep. You've also got a bunker silo. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, very nice. Right. We're going to move over to this area up here. Right, so you've got two south points here. So we've got another sawmill. And another sawmill. So we've got three sawmills on the map. Right, fair enough. So you've got the one south point is just there. Although it looks a bit dilapidated, mind you, but fair enough. Another south point just there. Hit the southward icon. Maybe it's undergoing a refurbishment. Yeah, probably. It looks like it. Looks like it needs a bit of liquor paint anyway. So we'll come out of there. We're going to go straight over to the next one. And we'll run across here. Obviously, we're going to watch out for cars. Because there's one coming. He looked like he's going to have run me over all written. Written all over him. Another fuel station. Again, can't tell how much we're being charged. Then we'll come down here. We're we'll around this corner like that. Into here. And there we are. So this one is the mill. If you want to sell some stuff to the mill, obviously come off the main road onto the grating. Very nice. Now, there is one other little place we do need to buy. So, if we go back into the map, it's all the way up the top. And we breeze past it when we is up here. So, it's this little area. It's going to cost you 53 grand. Like that. It's got some chickens. So, if we come out of that, obviously, there's your animal dialogue box. It's going to hold 100 chickens. You've got your egg pallet spawn point there. And you come down here. And there's your feed part. I might put... 60 roosters in there. Is that what I've done? I'm going to get like no eggs whatsoever. Do I put 60 in? Yeah, I did. Put 60 roosters in. Oh, I'm going to get no no eggs off of that at all. Oh, that tastes dear, oh dear. There is another little area that we've not gone to, to be fair, because it's this one here. So we click on that. You need to buy it. 157 grand. Like that. Because this is your BGA. <laughs> so we'll come out of that. Load your solid stuff into there. Here's your production chain menu. All the usual shenanigans on the go with that. And we'll come over here. There's your taking out point for your digestate. And it's got the loading in point for slurry. That's what normally goes in. There's no sort of pipe work for it. But alright, fair enough. There's your BGA for you. Right, so we'll go into this menu like that. A bit of a flyover because that's your map tour done for you. Obviously, you've got these big bunker silos at the BGA. Yeah, very nice. I like this map. It's sort of a, a bit of everything for everybody. You've got a bit of forestry on the go, mainly on the hills. You've got some farmyards, farmland, and you've got some animal pens. Yeah, I like it. Bit of everything. Like the old school feel of it, the sort of run down areas, sort of dilapidated. And it's like even like these bridges and that. They look ace. Very nice. Now, oh, I like this map. Right, so that's your map tour done for you. Drop it in the comments below what you're going to be doing. You're going to smash out some field. Are you going to do a bit of forestry? Are you going to buy up those secret animal pens? We'll see what people are looking at. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.